No, it can't be. He's Batman. That's precisely the reason why he is the villain. So there are two main reasons why Batman is the villain of Gotham City. The first of which is he creates his own villains. As time passes, things improve. One of those things is law enforcement. To keep up with law enforcement, criminals have to change how they do things. The same goes for Gotham's criminals. With the introduction of Batman, Gotham was introduced to a whole new form of crime fighting, a whole new form of justice. And to combat that, criminals had to up their game and be more elaborate. This is best said in the final clip of Batman Begins, where Commissioner Gordon and Batman are talking and he says, You really started something. Bent cops running scared, hope on the streets. What about escalation? Escalation. We start carrying semi-automatics, they buy automatics. We start wearing Kevlar. They buy armor-piercing rounds. Yeah. And you're wearing a mask. Jumping off rooftops. Now take this guy. Arm robbery, double homicide. Got a taste for the theatrical, like you. Leaves a calling card. I'll look into it. Before Bruce donned the cowl, the main problem in Gotham was organized crime, namely the Falcone crime family. Carmine Falcone ran Gotham's underworld long before the Waynes were even killed, long before Batman was even a twinkle in little Bruce's eye. Obviously, you've seen a Scorsese movie, mobsters, organized crime, every city has those. But do you know what every city doesn't have? Freaks dressed like clowns. As I just mentioned, at the end of Batman Begins, Gordon touches upon the idea that crime evolves along with law enforcement and how the presence of Batman could lead to more advanced criminals. In the sequel to Dark Knight, we start to see that kind of take hold when the Joker, who mind you has just recently appeared in Gotham after the appearance of Batman, begins pushing organized crime out of Gotham. Because of Batman, criminals are forced to step up their game, leaving only the scariest, most dangerous villains to rise to the top. No one cares about petty theft when you've got hitmen, shapeshifters, and clowns killing babies. Now this brings me to my next point. Before we get into this, let's start out with a brief history of Arkham Asylum. The Elizabeth Arkham Asylum for the Criminally Insane was founded and built by Amadeus Arkham, first opened its doors in November of 1921. The facility houses some of Batman's most high-profile criminals, including Joker, Mr. Freeze, and Scarecrow. So naturally, it has the shittiest security in the world. Why would a facility holding some of the most dangerous and super-powered villains have good security? It doesn't make any sense. Every story starts with someone breaking out of Arkham. It's not even that hard. Do you know how many times I've heard about people breaking out of Blackgate? But start by storming Blackgate! But it takes little to no effort to break out of Arkham, where most of the villains are. All of this to say, clearly Arkham doesn't have the funding to house not only regular inmates, but also the horde of super criminals. As I mentioned earlier, Blackgate has had very few breakouts. The inmates of Blackgate are, are regular, run-of-the-mill, non-metahuman criminals. So clearly the Gotham prison system has enough money to house regular inmates. It's just Arkham. It's just the supervillains. That's the problem. The worst of the worst habitually escape from Arkham, and nothing ever changes. It's always the same. No new security precautions are ever put in place. But you know who could change things? Billionaire playboy Bruce Wayne. In almost every story, along with being Batman, Bruce is shown donating to and spearheading projects that aim to increase the quality of life in Gotham as well as make Gotham safer. Never once, though, does it occur to him that maybe keeping the villains incarcerated would do wonders for Gotham's crime rate. Nobody wants solar energy, Bruce. They want to be safe. With one donation, he could solve 98% of Gotham's problem. But no, he just has to let innocent people die. 